back to my channel if you're new here. My name's Jessica. I do beauty videos here on YouTube. Uh, please subscribe so you don't miss any if you like what you see here. Today I am doing an empties video. Basically we're digging through my beauty trash, talking about what I liked, what I didn't like, what I'd repurchase. Um, and it's just, it's a great time. I've got quite a lot here in my bucket of empties and we're just going to get started. I actually have a lot of makeup in here too, so that's really exciting. Um, but I'm going to start with the two candles I've used up. First one is a total favorite. This is like my third candle I've gone through of this. This is Cinnamon Sugar Donut. And I don't know why I'm smelling it because it smelled like a charred mess. But this smells exactly like the namesake. It makes my apartment smell like a bakery. It's great. I love it. Um, but I really love this. I really hope they bring it back for this fall because I want to go buy some more. So good. The next one I didn't like as much because it's not very strong, but my roommate loved it. This is Vanilla Kai. Is it Vanilla Kai or Chai? I'm not sure. Um, this is supposed to smell like freshly ground cinnamon, chai or sky, whatever you want to call it, spices, sweet foamy local cream, and whole vanilla beans. This wasn't strong. Like when it burned, I could not smell it, but that's why my roommate loved it so much. I don't think I would repurchase this if they brought it back again just because I didn't like it that much. Um, but if you are somebody who wants something really subtle, this might be the candle for you. Let's get into the actual beauty stuff. I've got a shampoo and conditioner set here. This is the L'Oreal Paris Total Repair Extreme Reconstructing Shampoo and Conditioner. Ew, there's like a hair. Gross. Um, this is like, I've used these I've repurchased these so many times. I go through them like hotcakes, like seriously, in a month I'll go through the whole bottle of each. Um, I didn't repurchase it yet. I actually bought a brand new hair care system that I've never tried before and I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is total great. This is totally great. I love this stuff. Um, I've got two makeup remover wipes from CoverGirl here. These are CoverGirl. OMG. I've got two makeup remover wipes from Clean and Clear. These are Holy Grail, my favorite uh, makeup remover wipes. I definitely, I love this stuff, but I'm kind of ready to move on and try new things. Um, so if you have any makeup remover wipes from the drugstore that I should try, let me know. I've definitely tried the Neutrogena ones. These replace those. So I'm just getting kind of like antsy. I don't know. I have some razors here. Talk about those a lot. I have another hair care product. This is from L'Oreal as well. This is called the Blow Dry Blow Dry Quick Dry Primer Spray. It's a mouthful. This is supposed to, this claims to cut dry time and is heat protectant for when you blow dry your hair. I did not like this as much. Like, it was a really good heat protectant, but the nozzle is so concentrated that when you spray it, like I would hold it out here expecting it to spray my whole side of my hair, but it would go like in one little tiny spot. And so I felt like I had to spray a lot of it to get it to cover my hair. So I will not be repurchasing this. I did, however, buy something from a similar line, but the nozzle sprays more evenly and I really, really like it. So this was kind of a dud for me. Um, I used up this nail polish remover. This is the Equate Strengthening and Nourishing. I do not like this one. I still have a full bottle of this I need to use up as well. I do not like this version. I don't know why I have two bottles of it. But this does not remove my nail polish very well. Like I feel like it leaves like residue left on my nails. It definitely does not do the job when we're removing glitter nail polish. So. I need to stop buying it. I don't know why I always buy it. It's so cheap, I think is the problem. It's like under a dollar. I don't know. Skincare product to talk about. This is the Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Eye Treatment. This is a little sample guy I've had for a very long time and I used him up. And you know something? I miss using him. He's been used up for a while. Just kind of sitting here in my bucket collecting dust. This was a great eye treatment. Like it didn't fix my wrinkles. I still have the wrinkles around my eyes, but this was a really great thing to put on my eyes to keep them moisturized. Like, I definitely feel like my eyelids are not as dry anymore, and I really want to buy the full size of this, but it is pricey. 
I believe. I don't know. I tried looking for it and I couldn't find this exact one. Granted, this is pretty old. Like, I probably shouldn't have even been using it, but I did and I'm, whatever, we're moving on. So, if you know where I can buy this, please leave a comment because I'm missing it. Or if you have an eye treatment that you could recommend for me to try, definitely let me know. I'm willing to try anything. I have a thing of Carmex and I feel like it's been forever since I put an empty Carmex in my empties because I keep losing them. Like halfway through the tube I lose them. I don't know where they're going. The Nargles are taking them. Okay, the rest, well I have a tool here. The rest is all makeup, but I also have an eyelash curler and it looks disgusting. This is old. I went and repurchased it because I've had this a really long time and it's not curling my lashes as well and it's disgusting and dirty, so bye bye Okay, the rest is all makeup. Woohoo! Um, first, I'm pulling out an empty primer. This is the Laura Geller Spackle Tinted Under Makeup Primer in Champagne. I just repurchased this yesterday because I went a whole month without using it. And I missed it a lot. My face missed it. This is amazing. It's definitely worth, I think it costs like $30, $36. Definitely worth the money because I freaking love this stuff. And th the primer that I have been using in its place, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I squeezed every ounce of this out of the sky. I did not like this primer actually. It was not good. I'm sure. I'm sure if I had oily skin, I would have liked this primer a lot more, but as it is, I'm dry skin and I need something like this primer to moisturize my skin and make my foundation look good. This just didn't do the trick and this is supposed to like fill in your pores and I feel like it didn't do that either. I would never buy this in the full size. I just did not care for that. I used up, I used up a foundation and more hair. Ugh. This is the CoverGirl Stay Ready Set Gorgeous. Um, I used this one up. I have, I actually mixed this one. I have 105 and then I also, I have 105 Classic Ivory and I also have 205 something, can't remember the name. I, I mixed those two to get my perfect color but I ran out of this first. I really like this. This took place of another foundation. Basically they repackaged was it the Stay Beautiful? Maybe? Um, anyway, I really like this foundation. It gave me really great coverage, made my skin look flawless. I miss it. I do have other foundations I need to work through before I buy this though. And the sad one, I ran out of my Benefit Erase Paste. It's gone. I've scraped it clean. I was really sad when I ran out of this. Um, I'm going to repurchase when I can justify spending the money on it. But it's really great. It covers my dark circles really, really well. Um, doesn't go into my fine lines and wrinkles. Um, stays put all day. It's very thick. I love this stuff. This is like probably my fourth jar of this. It, and you know, this is a rather generous jar. It will last you like a whole year. Yeah. I have an eyeshadow primer here and it does not have the writing on the front anymore. This is the Fergie, this is the Wet n Wild Fergie Take on the Day eyeshadow primer. Super, super inexpensive. Like it costs $4 at the drugstore. This stuff I prefer over the Urban Decay Primer Potion. No joke. Like why waste the money on that when you can go buy this? This made my eyeshadows stay all day without creasing. It helped them look vibrant and pigmented and it's just amazing. And I will go out and rebuy this when I've worked my way through some of my other eyeshadow primers. This is amazing. Go buy it now. Pause the video. Go to Walgreens. Buy it. Come back and finish the video. Okay? Okay. Alright! And then the last two I have a Jordana Fabi liner. I've talked about this. Gone through many of these. This is a great eyeliner. If you're new to liquid liners, the tip is very precise, but it's very stiff, so it does not bend. You get a really great cat eye without having to try, and it's super dark, and I like that it's a matte black, like it's not shiny or anything. Sorry, I'm like leaning over, you can't even see what I'm talking about. It's not shiny, it's just very good, and I ran out of this a couple weeks ago, and I just have not made it to Walgreens to buy a new one, but it's really great, and I love it. This one, I 
didn't love. I've, you know, I've even tried this before. This is the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. And I remember really liking the last tube I had of this, and I'm wondering if maybe I just got a bad tube. Um, but it did not do anything for me. Here is the wand. It's super, like, flat on one side, and then it curves up. I think maybe I just got a bad tube, but I feel like it tinted my lashes black, but it didn't lengthen them, it didn't separate them, it didn't volumize them, it didn't do jack squat. Like, it just turned them black. And I have, like, blondish brown lashes, so, like, you can tell when I'm wearing mascara, but normally I get a little oomph, and this gave me no oomph, and I was disappointed. So, like I said, I don't know if I just got a bad tube, I don't know if I'm going to repurchase it or not. I was very unimpressed. I was very underwhelmed, so... Okay, so that's all my empties. I used up so much. Very proud of myself. I'm giving myself a round of applause. Um, if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up and be subscribed so you don't miss any of my videos. And I will see you all very soon. Come on back. Bye, guys.